Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are in the Boekhorst in Noordwijkenhout and we're going to do how to get more power in your backend fully. I'm going to start right now. Okay. Ah, oh, lekker boelie! And we have sales on just paddle.com. I like it. You like it? Good match. Yeah. So just a little note before we start, only accelerate on balls that are higher than the net. Tip number one is to rotate the shoulders. Many players are very open with their shoulders when they play the backhand volley and uh, you cannot generate any power when you don't rotate the shoulders. So instead of this, try to be there. So a good way to train this is that um, you have your back against the fence or the, the glass because then you have to rotate and then you can just follow through and if you hit the glass you probably have a, a follow through that's too big. So this is a very easy way to train it but the only thing is, is it's quite difficult to uh, feed the ball. So either throw it or imagine you're playing the ball uh, to get the first steps in. Tip number two is step and hit. So when you want the best possible back end volley, you want to step and hit at the same time. So the moment you come down on the floor, you actually hit the ball. This is not okay if the ball is coming quite fast. So if people are playing super fast, I just block, I don't step in. I only step in when I have time to step in. If you step in, all your muscles are going in the same direction and that will help you to play faster. A good way to train this is that you are in the right service box and you step cross over to the left service box. Because if you step over and you go with your right foot here, you will turn your shoulders. So you actually have a good way to train tip number one as well. Yeah. The next tip is fly away. If you want a good backhand volley, you need to do this motion. So you want to follow through long and you also want to have your left hand backwards or your non-dominant hand because if you do your left hand here you will do your right hand forwards. If you don't use your left hand you will over rotate and you play too much slice. So that will decrease your power. So Sasha strong the ball to me. Two hands, touch. Two hands, touch. Two hands, touch. Two hands, touch. So if I touch the glass, I know that I'm doing it correctly because it's quite difficult for some people to feel that they're doing the left hand here. It would be good to touch. So this is just for that small movement. If people have the tendency of over rotating, then this is a very good option to do. The next tip is the long follow through. So many players actually stop very close to them and that's not gonna help accelerating or they follow through too long because they're not using the left hand. So a good way to train this is to have the ball on your right armpit and the moment you extend, this needs to fall. So this works great if people have a very short follow through. So if Sasha plays the ball, it should drop. Sasha plays the ball, it should drop. If I do a, like a very block volley, it should actually stay. So you can also train the block volley with this, but then it has to stay. Yeah, so now hitting the ball too close to me, I cannot really have a good follow through. So actually, actually I have more power when I hit it slightly more away from me. If your follow through is too long, you can also do this drill. So if you follow through and you go all the way there, what a lot of people tend to do, you can fix with the left hand or you can have your back against the fence, follow through and if your racket hits the fence that means that you, your follow through is too long. So maybe that helps you to make it shorter because otherwise you have to renew your racket every single time. Open the face of the racket. So if your racket is open you can accelerate a little bit more because if you have a very close preparation um, and you're going to hit hard you will probably hit the net. So if you're coming from high to low, you will never actually hit the glass. So 
uh, from this angle you can hit fast with slice um, to have it open because then you can hit as fast as you want if you have it open but your your preparation is kind of low uh, then you you cannot hit very hard because you will float the ball you have a lot of slice but the ball will never go down anymore so open the racket and then do from high to low so actually i like to do more this volley sometimes so a uh, very low follow through which will end up later uh, to keep the ball down hit a little bit in front of you some players are actually hitting the backhand volley very early then you cannot really accelerate because your follow through is very short so you want to hit it slightly in front of you because most backhand volleys will, will go into the corner or, or to the left player so if Sasha does a we do a dead ball drill so she's going to toss the ball just upwards and then I can uh, play the ball where I need to hit the ball so Sasha decides with her toss where I'm hitting the ball yeah so now I'm hitting too close to, to me Oh, so you see I have less power because the ball has no speed so that also is important that if somebody plays you very soft shots against your backhand you cannot really go for a very fast shot because a forehand is way easier to accelerate than a backhand so with some with most of the backhand shots you need somebody to play faster your backhand in order to accelerate and lower than the net many players make a ball underneath the ball they do too much slice that's sometimes because they are too open with the chest and then they have a very fast uh, arm movement but they actually don't hit the ball fast because they're playing too much slice so you need to go from high to low so I'm going to show you first that if you play uh, if you scoop the ball then the ball you can I can play very fast but the ball doesn't actually accelerate so, same with the forehand and I cannot really play fast because otherwise I'm gonna make a mistake so I want to end lower than the net the next tip is to blow out when you hit so when you want to hit the ball you should do this if you're holding your breath you're gonna use too much strength and you actually play slower watch your contact point so don't watch the ball because then you probably over rotate but watch where you hit the ball because then your action will become quite smooth your control is going to increase and you will actually play faster because you need that to play fast so this is the wrong version so the ball is coming this is not relaxed anymore so try the shape of the racket also makes a massive difference I play way faster with a diamond or what do you call this shape uh, form so kind of a heavy balance racket like a uh, teardrop shape racket or round racket so if you play with round you can you're not playing so fast probably and if you go to teardrop shape and even to diamond shape you're gonna play faster so faster slower also the material if you play with a fiberglass racket you're not gonna hit so hard if you play with a carbon racket like this is with carbon you play way way faster than with fiberglass hit next to you so if you hit the ball very close to you you will have no power if you hit the ball further away from you you will have more power because with the back end you need a swing to accelerate and here you don't have any swing whatsoever so you need to start from close but then go far Yeah, 
So that means that if you get the ball close to you, you just block it and play soft to the fence. And if you get the ball further from you, then you go for the acceleration. So always have a plan in mind that you can change. Make your preparation longer. So if you have time, so if they play slow, you can actually go for further preparation. I do recommend to always prepare with two hands on the racket and then follow through longer. If somebody's playing a faster shot, you don't need to make a big backswing because you just use the speed of the ball. So now I don't have any power because my the racket is too close to me. If I go further, I have more space. If it's fast, I just use the speed of the ball. That's it. Yeah, then I just block. And I prefer to block in the corner or over there. I don't really go for this one as well. So when it's slow, I can go long. When it's fast, I just go close. And if you want, you can also play with two hands to block if you prefer. But not to go for full power, I think. Or you go for the top spin one. Thank you for the watching. I hope you liked this video. Um, maybe you can say the next tip, the backend tip that I forgot in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe because 60 of the viewers are not subscribed. So uh, yeah, do that. And uh, hasta luego. Ciao. Adios.